In this video, I'll show you how to use a PC computer, could be a laptop desktop, to print on your Canon Selfie CP1500 photo printer. There's multiple ways of doing this, I will show you the one that I found to be the easiest one. Take your printer and on the screen you need to navigate until you see over there Wi-Fi settings, then press OK. In this menu go down until you see Wi-Fi and make sure that it is enabled. This is very important. Then go up where it says connection settings, press OK. Then go down where we see others, press OK. And then go down and select direct connection, press OK. And here I won't put any password, just select off. I think it's the easiest thing to do unless you have many people around you. And here on this screen, it will give you the network name of the printer. Here it's CP1500, F91A94, yours will be different. Now go on your Windows PC in the Wi-Fi settings over there, lower right side, and click on it. You should see the printer appearing in this list. Select it and connect to it. Make sure that the name matches. Okay, press connect. It will take a few seconds sometimes even a minute, so both of them are connected. Let me speed up a bit the video, because it took in this case about 40 seconds to connect. And once it's done, you should see the network on the top with no internet open. Perfect. Next step is to go over here, lower left side, where it's the start button, and then go in settings, select it, and in settings select devices, and then you'll have to select on the left side printers and scanners. Here you'll have all the printers that are connected. You won't see um, the Canon yet because what you need to do is to press the plus button. It will search and the Canon selfie printer should be appearing there. Click on it and select add device. It should take again about 30 seconds to connect and then you should see ready under Canon selfie CP1500. On the printer, you can press OK when you're done. Now it's time to find the picture you want to print. Mine is over here. I'll click on it to, so you can see it. OK, when I confirm that this is the picture I want to print, what I will do is on the keyboard, keep press Ctrl and then P. This will open the print dialog to be able to print. Make sure that the Canon selfie is selected on the top from the list, over there. And then we have to select what orientation we want the picture to be. Here I want it in landscape. You can see in the preview, it matches quite well, the picture I had. Obviously you can choose portrait. Then how many copies you wanna print. Here I just want one, I will leave it like this. Paper tray, I'll suggest that you leave auto select and paper size, this is very important. The selfie prints on three different kinds of paper. The one that came with it, it's the postcard size. That's how they call it, the four by six. But there's also two other sizes. There is the L size and the credit card size. If you buy those photo papers, it should be written on the box which kind uh, it is. If we go lower, there's more options paper type over here. I suggest you choose photo paper. I don't know if it changed something, but in my case, I got uh, good results using this. Photo size, don't choose anything since we already selected paper size. Page margin, again, just leave it normal. And I also suggest you don't touch the fit option at all. Next step is to put the paper tray to attach it to the printer with the paper inside. And then when you're ready, press the print button to start the process. I'll speed up the video because in total it took about a minute and a half uh, to send the picture to the printer and then for the printer to print it. I wished it was faster, but you know, this is life, it's not that bad. And we're finally done. Everything went well. I think um, even the colors look quite accurate. The details are there. If you compare it to the picture I have on the screen here, yeah, I think it did a great job. 
Now all you have to do is to remove those borders by bending the paper. And you're done. I hope this tutorial was useful. If so, please leave a like, a comment down below. Don't forget to check the Amazon affiliate links in the description if you want to get ink for your new printer. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.